To make today's recipe, you will need some of your favorite pasta. Today I'm using penne rigate, some sort of pickled mixed vegetable. If you make your own pasta, if you make your own pickled vegetables, you can use that in place of this. I have one quart canned potatoes with the skin on. This is five cups of cooked pasta. And I'm gonna add mm, probably half of that to this particular bowl. Because the vegetables are very salted, I'm not going to add salt to this. Typically, this is eaten as a cool salad. For that reason, I'm going to add a little bit of sheep cheese. If you don't have this, you can use whatever cheese you have. Even just your plain cheddar cheese, just cut it in cubes, small cubes, so that it resembles a crumble like this. You can use fermented vegetables and even fermented pasta and fermented potatoes if you wanted to make this a fermented meal. And then just add like a lemon olive oil or a lemon MCT salad dressing with some minced garlic. You could even add some very thinly sliced cucumber to this. So there's the cheese. I'm also going to add about a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. If you're a cheese lover, by all means, feel free to add a half a cup of the Parmesan cheese. Now for some black pepper. Six garlic cloves, smashed and finely minced. And I'm going to add some extra virgin olive oil to this. about a quarter cup. I normally add lemon juice to this, but today I'm going to add white distilled vinegar. Again, about a quarter cup. And last but not least, some mixed Italian herbs. This has basil, oregano, tarragon, parsley, and rosemary. As a final note, you can add any type of meat to this if you'd like, whether that's plant-based or animal-based. I'm gonna put this in a container and I'm gonna refrigerate it for approximately an hour and then this is ready to be eaten. So this is the rest of the potatoes and the pasta. This will have everything but the mixed vegetables and the two types of cheese. I'm only going to use Parmesan cheese in this. No mixed vegetables, garlic, olive oil, herbs, Parmesan cheese, potatoes and pasta. About a tablespoon mixed herbs, approximately an eighth to a quarter cup of olive oil or oil of your choosing. Salt to taste, a heaping quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. I have approximately an eighth of a cup of minced garlic. And finally, I'm going to add a can of chopped whole artichoke hearts to this. That's what they look like. And typically what I do is I gently squeeze the excess water out. There we go. And now I can chop these up and add them to the salad. What I love about combining pasta and potatoes is that, you know, a whole dish of pasta versus a dish of pasta with some starch-resistant non-insulin spiking potato is a nice way to satiate the appetite without the insulin spike. And by making a couple different salads, you have variety. So lots of different ways that you can make dishes from pasta and potatoes so that you're addressing somebody that likes carbs but also giving them a little extra in the meal to satiate the appetite without overstimulating the insulin response. Not to mention it's a cold salad which you know on a hot day nothing beats a cold salad. The idea of cooking pasta in a little bit of oil whether it's avocado oil or olive oil or whatever oil you use is that you don't rinse the pasta afterwards because when you rinse it, you're rinsing away all the starch plus all the nutrients. So the oil allows the pasta to not stick while it's cooling down so that you don't have to rinse all that goodness away. 